Welcome back, viewers. Welcome back to Scoreboard on ACTN. Well, joining me now is, um, well, you know, we talk sports, we talk people in, who are involved in sports, whether, you, you know, you can be behind the scenes, on the field, or whatever it is. Uh, we have two young chaps here with us who represent the, the, the football fortress. Uh, we have the founder of this media blog, uh, David Scarlett. David, it's a pleasure. Uh, it's uh, we have one of his presenters, Chris Selman. Yeah, Gentlemen, exactly. welcome to the scoreboard at ACTN. Um, the football fortress, let's talk a bit about what it entails, what, what, what it is about. It's a media blog, yes, but I know that's from, it started in 2018, mm -hmm. but you all have transformed now from uh, just being on Facebook now to mm -hmm. having a YouTube yes, channel. Yeah. You know, tell, tell me about, about the inception and how, how it went on. Oh, well, it actually started after my final semester in UE, because I did written come and I wrote articles for for the course, for mm -hmm. coursework on exam and stuff. And people liked my work and they told me that I should start writing articles in football. Mm -hmm. So in 2018, I had a poll on Facebook asking people if they wanted to see articles on the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And the majority of them was yes, so I did start it off. But it didn't start off as the football portraits, it started off as the Scarlet Panel because um, I wanted it to not only be about football, because I like comics, I like um, Marvel and superhero movies, so I wanted to include comic books into that as well, and life articles as well, life mm. blogs, and I did start a life blog on it as well. But, like about four or five games into writing articles for the World Cup, I decided that it should be a football website. And then I searched for hours, searched for hours for a name for the blog, and I came up at the Football Informer. But I, did, I thought that Football Informer would just be focusing on me. Mm. And I wanted to have a team of people coming in to transform it from being a blog mm -hmm. to being a media company. Mm. So I rebranded the Football Informer to be the Football Fortress, and that's how it ended up. Yeah. So basically, what, what, what you all do? Everything about football? Well, on also, the, there's certain aspects. Of, uh, yeah, there's yeah. certain aspects about football. We cover the Premier League, sometimes Champions League and Europa League, and school football, yeah. etc. Right, and your presenter. Your role now is what? You, 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 what? You, um, you, you bring in people f randomly to. No, well, I brought in. I brought in Chris for because I wanted to start tf for TV, our YouTube channel. Okay. Right after I started the blog, mm -hmm. but I didn't have people I knew I could have worked with, mm -hmm. and I didn't have equipment, and I didn't have a place to record. Mm -hmm. But then I thought that I know Chris wanted to do a FIFA show, mm -hmm. so I thought I could have bring him in to create his own content because he didn't have the platform. He didn't. He wasn't confident enough. Mm. to start his own YouTube channel. So I thought I could have bring him in. Mm. And the first show on the channel could have been me and him. Mm. And then we will branch off into our own separate show. So okay. that's how I brought him in. So how has it been going so far for you? Um, when David approached me firstly with the idea for the show, um, I hadn't expressed to him before my desire to be on YouTube or anything mm. like that. So it felt like it was almost like destiny. We, we had to come up with this, this show. Mm. And um, since the inception of the YouTube channel and we hosting this Premier League show, mm. um, it's been fun. That's the main thing mm -hmm. because we are very passionate about football. I don't know he's passionate about his team. I am passionate about my team. So mm -hmm. sometimes we might have some clashes there. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's been very fun and I just enjoy the journey so far. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what, what, what's the response like now? Well, we started off with a good bit of views and the numbers kind of decrease after like about six weeks in. Mm -hmm. But we have been getting good response. We have been getting a lot of comments on videos and we, we read comments on, on our show mm -hmm. and that encourages feedback. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this whole thing um, going next year, two years? So, what, what would you, you like to um, get out of it? A much bigger media company. I want to be an established media house, mm -hmm. not only in Trinidad but in the Caribbean and internationally as well. Okay. When you say when you say a media house, in, in like what, 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 like what, uh, you're aware of Bleacher Report. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah Bleacher yeah, Report yeah, started yeah. off kind of like mm-hmm. us. They started off as a Facebook page, mm-hmm. and they grew into this big media company. Company it is today. Okay. And that is why I want to come out of here for. Okay. So where when you say this media company, where where, where are you all located now, and um, what are some of the, the the things that you would like the public to know about the fortress? Well, we do actually have a location. We do. We barely even have a set. We just record. Mm-hmm. Where we can't, <laughs> basically. <laughs> okay. Um, regards of what about the public, I want this channel here for TV <coughs> to be a platform where people can create content. So not only me and Chris, I want people who do have the the platform, the the confidence. But like only in football. Do. Yeah, only football. Yeah. Only in football. But I would like. I have been considering like. Making a new channel and linking it to because the Bleacher Report is yeah they have basketball yeah and they have yeah 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 they call, yeah, I, I follow the NBA yeah, through, yeah, yeah. Um, through them yeah. so I, I was planning on, on doing something like that branching off having different branches of of um this media house and mm. for tier four would just be one of them yeah. I, I was actually planning on starting a music channel because I do music as well yeah no I do I do yeah. is, is drama in your um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, in your church <laughs> yeah, yeah so I was yeah. planning on trying planning on starting a music channel mm-hmm. and having people coming on doing covers and singing and playing instruments and displaying their talent. Mm-hmm. To, to add to what David was saying also, I know we eventually would like to also have fans come on to the show yeah. mm-hmm. and give their opinion on whether it be their team or the Premier League and we know football is an opini- opinionated game mm-hmm. so it would be, that's one an- avenue I think we want to to go yeah, yeah, but, but you're saying you want people to come on the show, but you all not just said that you all don't have a like a. No, a eventually. No, eventually, oh, yeah. Oh, but oh, we have yeah. had we have had one guest so, on the show. So, so, so where 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 you all actually do taping? You know, in on, church. On, oh, yeah? in church. In church. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. All Until right. we get uh, actually. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So you all have begun the, the, um, the, the permission to to yeah, use, to use, yeah. to use the church. Mm-hmm. What, what what do you think is the biggest um, your biggest challenge right now you're facing? Uh, equipment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we do have the equipment to, to record how we want, where we want, when we want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like yesterday, we were supposed to do an episode, uh, but due to circumstances, we mm-hmm. couldn't record. And we yeah. haven't recorded in three months due to circumstances yeah. out of our control. But you, you think that that, that now will hinder you all in losing um, mm-hmm. yeah, your ship? Yeah, it, structure. it would. It but right, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if we, someone you're not seeing, you're, you're not re- regular, they yeah. tend to... Yeah, yeah. but we are working on a project mm-hmm. currently yeah. that will bring back our yeah. viewers. And, the, and next, next thing is you're not active and then somebody could just come now basically with the same... You, you, you all have registered... Um, no. You see, that that's the next thing. You're, you're doing something and it didn't register, right? Mm. Somebody could just come there, so who have the, the equipment and the means about it now, and just copy what you're all doing now and start to run with that, mm-hmm. right? Now, you all have no means of um, stopping them because you ain't, you, ain't, mm-hmm. um, you, ain't, you ain't register. So I think one of the steps that if you all want to go further with this thing, the first thing you're supposed to do is to register the, um, the, the, name, the name, the brand. The brand yeah, uh, registered, yeah. so then that's that's yours. So himself, you you you, you record for two three months or mm-hmm. something. Nobody can come and you, you mm-hmm. understand. Yeah. So that that, that that that's what you all need to do. But when 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 you when you look at it, do, do you all think that it is actually feasible for you all to build and 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 create and then get out of it exactly what you all want in in five ten years down the road? Yes. Because um, I actually am going to start my master's in sports journalism mm-hmm. this year. And I think that will help me in building what we have right now. Mm-hmm. And even when I'm in England doing my master's, I could create content there and bring content creators from England on the channel okay. and help help to build the channel. So you, you will be traveling to go and do your master's? Yeah. So then how are you all going to be? No, well, we, we our show mm-hmm. would just be on, on standby. But he, he will have the, the means to create his own mm-hmm. content. He could start our own show, his own show with someone else. Okay, and okay. I will just start another show with someone else. Or and I could start my own show. And, and emoji, emoji to yeah, the, the, yeah. It's the, it's the channel. Mm-hmm. And we have different shows on the channel. Mm-hmm. So when, when you expect to travel? August. Yeah, right, so that, that doesn't give you all much time to start to put 
you know, th things, mm -hmm. things in place. Are you all are you ready for that? Yeah, yeah. I believe I am. I always had a passion. My, I have my background. I have done stuff in film before. Okay. So in terms of, as David was saying, it's just really the fair uh, putting yourself out there, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of a creator. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, David kind of helped bring me out of that shell mm -hmm. and I was able to more express myself creatively. Mm -hmm. And um, i definitely willing to take that challenge on. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot more avenues in terms of football that we still haven't tapped into as mm -hmm. yet. Now. And we we in the age of social media mm -hmm. now, so I mean I think there's a lot of room for us to grow as well now. And that's that's my goal, not only for him but for anybody who wants to create content on the channel mm -hmm. to bring them out of that fear aspect, the no confidence aspect. Yeah, and yeah. give them a platform to create it. But they say people who in film not supposed to have that fear. How you? <laughs> no, I. Are I, you I, behind I, the camera? Yeah, yeah. talking about yeah. the front. Yeah. I love yeah. being behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, really yeah. where my spot is. In terms yeah. of just being the creator. Yeah, you're, you're, good, you're good with that. Instead of being the talent. Yeah, yeah. That's not really <laughs> my. my place position yeah, yeah. right so in terms of being behind the camera i just believe that's really where i'm supposed to be yeah. but because of david david asked me a couple times to yeah. to be in front of the camera for the show so he had to kind of encourage me yeah, like convince him yeah he had oh, to oh, convince oh, oh, him was that the feedback what, what, like coming from people that be telling all that, you know where? The people have spoken that who has watched the show. They some people don't know much about football, but they still watch the show because it it is entertaining because they know us. You know, mm. they, they get their banter. You know, watching us do our thing on camera. Mm. So the feedback has been positive. I just think if we could find a little more consistency in a in our production, mm. I think that is where we would actually hit our stride. And even people who don't know us, they enjoy the content mm. that we create. The only like criticism we have received is the production quality because we, we do really have a set mm -hmm. so the production quality is what it's supposed to be like and that, that's the only criticism but everybody well mostly people enjoy the show so far and also you say that um, you, you, you're doing more SSFL games are you doing like the whole games or just segments of the game yeah, how, how, yeah. no, actually not like I was more like getting fans' opinions on the game. Oh, like, not actually the game. No, nah, not yeah, actually yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. But that's no, not what this channel is about. This channel is not to like cover a game because every other media mm -hmm. house, every yeah, other cover, yeah, cover, yeah, yeah, covering yeah, the games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to interview fans. I don't want to interview um, players and coaches and all that. I want to interview fans. Right. I want fans' opinions and I want fans to be able to express their opinions, especially school, school fans. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If somebody wants to get in touch with you, how they how, how how they go about that? Well, you could like you could follow us on Instagram at the Football Fortress, mm -hmm. and you could find us on Facebook at the Football Fortress. Well. Yeah, anything you would like to say to to to, to your fans outside? Eh? Um, <laughs> stay tuned. More is coming. More is in coming. 2020. And yeah. if you want to create con content on the channel, contact mm -hmm. us and. We'll give you your show. And it's football only. Yeah, football. Only. Right, for, football now, yeah. For, for now. For now. Yeah. For now. Right. Well, gentlemen, it was a pleasure chatting with you all. Let me all wish you all, all the best, and I uh, hope that um, in five years, or five years or ten years, you all have in your own uh, media house. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the projected? Um, time about five years. I five, five years. <laughs> you sound real confident. Yeah, about five years. Well, let me wish you all, all the best, and um, I'll chat with you all again, and from time to time, and see how things are going. Yeah. All right. Fun. So again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank well, you. viewers, we have come to the end of another edition of Scoreboard on ACTN. Thank um, David and Chris, uh, members of the Football Fortress, as they go uh, ahead with their uh, media blog. I wish them all the best because um, the ideas are great, and it's just to be motivated now to accomplish what they have set out to accomplish. So, do have a blessed week ahead. We we'll catch you next week. Thank <laughs> you.